Hi guys and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. I thought I would do a small follow-up to my last video, the one that was rigged MM, because you know, why not? Last night I rolled out in one of my first streams for quite some time. Mainly because I've been away uh, doing work, real life stuff, you know. Let's be honest. Firstly, I am no super duper unicorn. <laughs> we all know that. And after a two week break from the game, due, as I said, to the real life stuff, I'm also very, very rusty. Nevertheless, because I do actually enjoy this game for what it is, namely a tank game that allows me to roll out and blow stuff up, I actually still enjoy Blitz. So, roll out I did last night in various tanks from tiers 8 to 10. And after my initial session, whereby I went solo initially and then teamed up with Yusuf, I ended up at the end of that session on a, I don't know, 73% win rate after something like 15 games with an average damage of just over 2k. Not bad for somebody who is rather rusty. Well, even though I do say so myself. Then I hopped into another tank, the Tier 8 German Heavy, the Lion, or Luva, and, oh, disaster struck. Six straight losses in a row. There is literally nothing I, in fact, or my toon mate, could do to get a win in that tank. So, hey, here we go. Let's get those tinfoil hats out, and we can break down exactly what really happened. Basically, because a far more successful Blitz YouTuber has alleged that there are winning and losing cues, it's now really easy for me to instantly point fingers in the direction of Rigged MM to explain the six straight losses in that tank. But that would actually be an incorrect assumption because like most things, there is more to this than meets the eye. So the big question is, what actually went wrong? Well, first off, let's get it out there. The tank itself performed well, so it's not the tank. The tank did exactly what I expected the tank to do in my hands. I'm not, not going to kid anybody here. Okay, the Louvre has been power crept to oblivion, and it really is a shadow of its former self. But... I have no complaints about the tank or its actual performance characteristics in those six straight losses I experienced last night. Those games, those losses, were purely and simply down to the team, which includes me and my toon mate, oddly enough. Could we have played better? Well, in some games, yeah, we could have. Maybe we decided on the wrong tactics. Maybe we were just too aggressive. Maybe we expected too much from the actual team. Or maybe, just maybe, we just played like potatoes. Now I would argue that at least 25% of the games that I played in the Louvre last night, we, me and my teammate, could have done better. And I mean that with all honesty, we could have done better. And as such, me and my teammate were also instrumental in our own downfall. Well, that obviously leaves around 75% adrift. And I've tried to be objective here. And if I'm being honest, in the majority of those games, the team just really didn't play well. They played badly. It's as simple as that. We had light tanks not doing their job, TDs camping in the position, that they like to camp in for a duration of the game where they had no shots or the ability to support support. We had selfish gameplay where, you know, players are brawling when they shouldn't brawl. We had gameplay whereby everybody's infatuated with damage because they've been told that damage is the main thing. So it's better to just farm damage and not help your team. All of these things end up being, you know, disadvantageous to you. We had tanks going down in the first 30 seconds of the game because, as I said, they decide to go into a brawl that they really should have retreated from. But all this is normal stuff within Blitz. 
The MM didn't sit there and say, we're going to, you know, pick this team now because they're all clueless potatoes or they're just having a bad day. That's not the MM doing that. That's just us, our failures as players, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, in a couple of the games, we had guys who were just not supporting. Okay, They were sitting at the back and they were preferring to farm the damage because they want that average damage to go up. And these are things that you have to take into account. So it's not just about bad MM. I mean... Look, my toon mate at one stage thought my Luva was cursed. I mean, so on the stream really did question the MM. But for me, it was all abundantly clear. We just had poor teams. Simple as that. Now, regardless of what you may or may not think, I'm not here to change your overall views on the game. But Blitz really is a game that requires some skill. And not necessarily the skill you find in your fingertips. Blitz realistically is like chess to an extent it requires a thought process it requires you to engage your brain not just your fingers of course it's easy to blame the mm it's easy to blame rng but these are just excuses that paper over the cracks in the actual skill levels of the player base nothing more than that now look I mean, it's not about i've got a 72 percent win rate because i've got great and eye coordination as i said you have to bring some brain matter into this as well. Now, what I experienced last night had nothing to do with the so-called rigged MM. You know, that every single hallmark of just bad plays, bad decision-making, nothing more than that. Now, I said in my rigged MM video that the first port of call when you ever experience a loss is to actually look at your own performance before jumping to any conclusions. Once you've identified and reviewed your own performance and what could you have done better, if anything, then you get to look at the overall team performance. And believe me, in almost every instance, you will discover that either you played badly or the team did. Now that has literally bugger all to do with the actual MM algorithm, despite what you may actually think. And that's important. Think about what MM actually does in real terms. You know, I try to approach these things logically. I mean, did the MM purposely put me into bad teams? Well, I would argue no. Because when I actually check some of the makeups of the teams from win rate and experience wise, the teams were in fact balanced. And in some instances, the teams that I were in were stronger, albeit on paper. Now this suggests to me that MM did not suddenly turn against me. It was just that the teams did not perform. Simple as that. And don't forget, Sherlock Holmes once said, the simplest explanation is always probably the right explanation. Yet we want to look for hidden meaning everywhere. Now it's easy to find excuses to explain away poor performance. We all do it. It's human nature. But at the end of the day, there is no real conspiracy out to get you. It's just bad performance, bad play, badly performing teams, basic errors that creep in. These are the things that ultimately lead to losing. Now, unfortunately, from time to time, you will get terrible teams. You will get teams that do not perform. And all you can do is pick yourself off, dust yourself down, and try to do the best that you can. Now, there's no point arguing rigged MM. There's no point arguing the influx of CIS players onto the EU server. And there's certainly no point at screaming and shouting in battle chat to those players less able than you, skill-wise. You have absolutely no control over any of that. The only thing that you have control over is you. So focus on what you can actually control, namely yourself. Now, of course, try to give your team pointers, try to help them where you can, but there's literally no point beating yourself up over things that you realistically have no control over. It's a pointless exercise. If you find yourself in the losing queue, and you will from time to time, then consider changing the tank class, the tier, or better still, stop playing. Go and make yourself a cup of tea. Remember, Different times of the day bring out different types of players. That's something that I've found, certainly on the EU server. 
to try to understand when the so-called fair weather players hit the game and avoid those times. Events also bring out, you know, those who rarely play. So be mindful of that and tell yourself that when there is free stuff up for grabs, you're likely to get worse and less experienced teams hitting the game. And therefore the chances of having poor teams and therefore having losses increases exponentially. These are just straightforward stuff, guys. And this is nothing to do with rigged MM. This is just normal stuff, what normally happens in a game. You also need to remember, because it's coming up now, the Pro Tour season is on the horizon. And therefore, most of the top players, those players that will carry your sorry backside in some games, they may not be around in the public games. They're too busy training, or they're only rolling out in the top tier meta tanks in order to prepare themselves for the tours. All these factors really kick in. And as I keep trying to explain, Blitz is much, much more than just rigged MM. Blitz really is a skilled game. It requires effort, and it really does require a big dose of actively engaging your brain to do well in. And it's a something, and that's something that a great many of us really seem to overlook. We prefer to blame MM or whatever instead. And we deny ourselves the ability to improve and get better and consider the game differently. Now, look, I said in the rigged MM video, once you get it into your mind that something is against you, it's very, very difficult to change that. I mean, remember the film, if those of you have seen it, the film Inception. You know, one of the most dangerous things and one of the hardest things to get rid of is an idea. And if you've got the idea that the game is against you, that MM is rigged, etc., etc., then for you to shake that is incredibly difficult. Like I say, you know, when I'm driving somewhere and I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights seem to be against me. I mean, it, it's, it's called Sod's Law, okay? And we just perceive that to be the case. It's actually not the case. It's our perception, it's our brain kicking in to find a reason to explain away why we can't get to the place we need to get to urgently. You know, all the, you know, the local government haven't suddenly said, oh, you know, this guy Fuji is in a rush, change all the traffic lights to make them red, really annoy him. Doesn't work that way. Yet we are ready to believe that MM have said, well, you know, this, this guy Fuji had four wins in a row, let's piss him off and put him in a losing queue. We, it's nonsensical to me. It really is nonsensical. But, like I keep saying, I'm not here to change your views or push some kind of positive propaganda agenda. Because at the end of the day, if you have already convinced yourself that the game is rigged, that the game is against you, that the influx of CIS players on the EU server, or whatever reasons you consider for you losing, then nothing I will say will change that opinion. And you know what? You're entitled to your opinion. If that's your view, that is your view. Nothing I will say will change that. You will continue to have that view. Doesn't matter how much evidence or how much logical thinking I bring to the fray, you will still have that view, guys. All I'm attempting to do is to help you overall get you to think outside the narrow box of rigged this or that. Because if you really feel that way, seriously, I'm being honest here, if you really feel that way, the best advice I or anybody can ever give you is stop playing the game. Go and find another game. Because Blitz to you is a lost cause. You will not enjoy it. You will not get from the game what the game is meant to give you, which is entertainment, fun, and enjoyment. Alternatively, however, if you approach Blitz from a completely different direction and you put all this baggage aside and you do whatever you can, your best, to improve and enjoy the game for what it actually is, which, let's be fair, it's a tank game that pits your wits against other like-minded humans and at the same time lets you blow shit up. In other words, a strategic game, a thinking person's game that gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling when you triumph over your adversities, then you'll start to enjoy it more and you'll move away from this rigged bullshit. Anyway, I've been Fuji. I just wanted to do a follow-up on the rigged MM. 
by all means comment in everything below because I really am interested in hearing your thoughts guys and until the next time remind yourself the main thing it's just a game so stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because literally I say this every video that's the whole idea having fun and being happy